Hello, the first step into overcoming your stutter. Like what is actually the first step you need to take in this stuttering journey? Now you may be hearing this right now and saying, Chase, I've done the first step and I'm on the 19th step. Or you may say, oh Chase, I did that a few years ago. I started already doing, working on my speech. This video is not for me. Let me be clear. This video is for you if you are not seeing consistent progress in your speech, no matter if you've been trying to work on your speech for 15 fucking years, all right? Doesn't matter. If you're seeing inconsistent results in your confidence, in your self-esteem, in being able to hold attention and feeling and working on your negative emotions attached to stuttering, if you're seeing a fluctuation in that, then your first step was fucking wrong, okay? This video is for you if you're seeing the fluctuation, and this video is also for you if you still relapse. What the fuck? There's no reason why you should relapse. There is absolutely no reason to relapse unless you started this whole journey wrong. The only reason you're gonna relapse is if you started this journey wrong, if you even have a fear of relapsing when you stutter. What the fuck? What the fuck? Now you are, you have overcome your stutter or you're working on your stutter, but there's still a constant fear that it may come back. That is not, that is not fun. That is not enjoyable. You clearly do not have the right foundation if you fear the, fear the relapse. And this video is also for you. If you're brand spanking new, if you just reached out how to overcome your stutter right now, and this is the first video you see, fucking praise the Lord because I'm gonna save you so much time, okay? I'm someone who has had a severe on and off stutter for the first 18 years of his life. From 18 to where I am now, 23, I have been working on my stutter. The most major growth has come from 18 to 20. And that was the years where I put in a lot of work. I did a lot of trial and error. I found out what, I found out what worked and what didn't. I was eat, eat, sleeping, breathing videos, consuming, 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 going to seminars. In the first two years, I've I probably spent over $20,000 in self-development. By now, it's about $60,000 in self-development, just trying every, everything I could find. And if you were to ask me right now, if I would have done it differently, if I would have started my journey differently, fuck yes. Fuck yes. I would have, I wouldn't have started the way I started it. Okay. Because the way I started it wasted so much time and it made me feel like I was not enough to start with. All right. The way I started it may be the way you're doing it, doing right now. Consume, 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 consume. You're watching every video you can find. You're on Instagram, looking at my account, getting these highs. Oh, Chase is saying this. Yeah, it makes me feel empowered. You're in Facebook groups and you're hearing people talk about their journeys and it makes you feel better because other people are going through it too. I was consuming and surrounding myself with all these YouTube videos and all these theories and I wasn't putting in any action. The first, from like 16 to 18, I, I was in, into dating and I was, I probably only approached one girl in those two years and I was learning theory about four hours a day on YouTube. What the fuck? There was no use to that. There's, I didn't grow at all. I just knew a lot of shit, but I didn't feel like I was enough ever. So if you're going to ask me if I would do something different, 100% and I'll tell you that thing different right now. Quickly, if you do not know who I am, my name's Chase Gillis and I'm someone who had a severe on and off stutter so much anxiety in group interactions, in interviews, in phone calls, you fucking name it. If you're a person who, who stutters, you understand that inferiority you feel in social situations. 
I was at the bottom of the fucking barrel, I promise you. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can gain confidence and detach my self-worth from my stutter and not give a fuck if I stutter in social situations, in turn allowing me to barely stutter at all anymore, then you can do it as well. I, I help people overcome stuttering the same way I did do the authentic process, not by any speech techniques or any shit like that. We dive into the roots and the fears and we address the anxieties and what's truly holding us back. Why we feel like we're not enough. So quickly, if you wanna book a call with me, see if you would be a good fit for the program, click on the closest link down below in the description, fill out some, some information and we can hop on a call to see if you would be a good fit. So anyway, the most important first step you can do is stop fucking consuming. Like it may sound counter, it may sound like I'm contradicting myself, but stop fucking watching my YouTube videos. Stop fucking going on Instagram to see my motivation every day. Yes, you can. You can if you're feeling very low. But what I have found was in when I was learning dating, the more time I spent without needing to look up how to approach a girl, or for your, your case, how to speak fluently, or how to not care if you stutter or whatever that may be, how to overcome stuttering, the more time you spend not looking at that shit, the better you're doing. We only look at that shit when we feel like we're not whole inside. And our brain realizes that. If we're looking at that shit, we are reinforcing we are not enough. Stop fucking watching my shit. If you really want to overcome it, I already told you, you can book a free call, see if you're a good fit, you don't need to watch anymore, anymore. That's all you need. All you need is to overcome your stutter, learn how to do it. You don't need to waste any more time. Stop fucking consuming, take action. Whether it's with me or whether it's with a different program, I wouldn't recommend a different program, but fuck it. Just take some type of action. Take some type of action that you can stop watching YouTube videos and you have a plan to follow. You can walk step by step by step by step in and you don't have to question it. You don't have to try to figure it out yourself. You, you don't need to lay in bed at night watching YouTube videos, just praying the newest one is gonna come out and fix your life. No, you're on a path that's gonna change you. Stop fucking consuming. The first step is to realize that you are not going to learn anything new that's going to change your life. This is what the vi this video is all about. Overcoming stuttering is not about learning anything new. Overcoming stuttering is not about learning something new and saying, fuck, I just need to do this and learn this, then I won't stutter anymore. Overcoming stuttering is about realizing the journey is about authenticity. Journey is about un unpeeling instead of layering on. By default, by nature, we were born without doubts. We were born without anxieties. We were born without fears. I don't like the biological fears of being unloved and shit, but not the fear of judgment, not the fear of those, those things that we learned that we feel is why we are unsafe. We learned all of this shit. We learned why we are, we are not enough with our stutter. Think about it. If you were born on a new planet and you were the only one on this planet, and you had a stutter, and you talk to trees, and you were talking to the grass, and you were talking to the air, and you were stuttering, would you think it was bad? Would, would, would you beat, beat yourself up? No, because you have nothing to compare it to. This just is. And that's the same thing here. Your stutter just is. It's when you are comparing yourself to other people, over and over and over again, you develop this mindset that I am not enough when I stutter, that I am only en enough when I'm perfect and speaking like other people and other people like me. Fuck that. The first, 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 first step is realizing you are already enough. If you didn't compare yourself to other people, you wouldn't care if you stuttered or not. If you did not have a over-exaggerated, over-exaggeration, over-exaggerated value on 
the perceptions of others, you would not give a fuck if you stuttered. If you did not have a negative relationship with your stutter, it would not arise shame. That's what you need to work on first. Not any technique, not any speech technique, not trying to be fluent, but understanding you don't need a fucking change. You are enough right now. And I know that sounds fairy and good and like just accept it, but it's not fucking just accepting it. Accepting it comes later. The first step is just understanding you are enough. You are fucking enough. I promise you, if we were to meet, I would think you're fucking perfect. And it's not because I have a stutter and I can understand you. It's because everybody's fucking perfect just the way they are. And I know that even sounds more fucking fairy. And it almost like makes me want to redo what I just said, but it's still true. It's still true. Once you understand that if you just authentically show yourself to other people, some people may, re some people may reject you. Some people may love you. That's out of your control. All that's in your control is authentically showing yourself with, without shame, without embarrassment, and just saying, this, this is who I am. That sets the foundation to overcome your stutter. Instead of relying on speaking fluently, instead of relying on a speech technique to feel safe, to feel like you belong, if you can naturally feel like you belong, even when you stutter, no matter what the outcome is, you are you have been built, you have been forged to be okay in any environment. And once you're okay in any environment, even if you stutter, you no longer need to think about it. You no longer need to try to anticipate what words you need to say and avoid it. And what is she gonna think of me if the first time she meets, I'm gonna stutter. You already know you're gonna be fine. There's no danger anymore. And that's how you truly start to overcome your stutter, the authentic way by realizing, by taking action over and over again, which serves you to realize you, you're perfect. You're fucking perfect. And if they have a problem with you, that's their problem. There is no reflect, whatever reaction they give you is a reflection on them, not ever of you. And if you have that foundation, that you don't need any speech technique, that you don't need any crutch, that you don't need a word substitute, that you are enough just showing yourself, there is no fear to relapse because you're good with whatever. And if you do not fear relapsing, you are not going to relapse. That's just a fact. It only, your stutter only comes when you fear it. Your stutter only comes when you're trying to resist it. If you're okay, no matter what, that's the ultimate power and that's the spot you want to get into because if you start your foundation there then you build up your confidence then you build up your self-esteem then you build up your self-image then you stop caring so much about what other people think of you then you start working on your breathing then you start doing this that's all additions that's all amazing but it's not the fucking you don't work on your speech first you work on the underlying issues first give you that solid foundation to be okay no matter what. And then shit really starts to click, okay? Don't do it the other way around. I have worked with dozens of people who were fucking fluent, but they had to use a speech technique because they learned it in some fucking big program. But now they have to rely on the speech technique to constantly talk like this for the rest of their fucking life. That's that's not a good fucking trade-off. You can be fluent. You have proven it to yourself in your bedroom by yourself, talking to a pet. Why does it have to change? It doesn't have to. You just have to feel the same safety you do as you by yourself with other people. And it's what I did. It's not like, oh, this is a good thought. No, I'm a living proof. This is how you do it, all right? And not just me, but all of my clients as well that I'm working with right now and have worked in the past. And again, if you're someone who truly wants to stop fucking dicking around and trying out different videos and constantly searching for the next cure and wasting your time, stop it. Invest in something. Take action in something. Whether it's with me, I don't care. 
If it is with me, fucking right, you made the best decision of your life to see if you would be a good fit. So again, to see if you would be a good fit to work with me, because honestly, not only do I clearly have the best fucking program ever, and I know a lot of people may get turned off by that, by me saying that, but I believe it with all my heart because I didn't follow the speech therapy way. I followed the authentic way, dealing with anxieties and the fears and overcoming those and realizing I don't use any speech technique now. There's no fucking reason to. I don't fear stuttering at all now. Life's fucking, like I don't even have a stutter. And I don't know any, any, any program that ever focuses on, on the real shit like that. If you wanna see if you would be a good fit to work intensely, intensely, not like, yeah, let's do some calls sometimes. No, you fucking want to overcome this shit for good. Then again, book your free one-on-one -on -one call with me down below in the description. We would ask, I would ask you some questions, see if you would be a good fit for my stuttering family because all my clients are my family. I don't want any rot, any rotten apples in there. I only want action takers, people who are ready to get fucking intense. All right, no little foot in, foot out, intense. All right, if you want an intense action plan that we, we will work on together hand in hand to make sure you achieve your goals, book your free one-on-one -on -one call with me and we will see if we would be a good fit. Other than that, I love you. I hope this was, val was valuable and saved you a lot of time. All right, I love you. Peace, I'll see you on.